here was this man who was a volunteer chaplain uh, who was exposing himself to a considerable amount of danger ministering to these uh, injured soldiers. Father Whalen was released. Father Whalen refused to go. He said, I have to be here with my boys. This lone priest was the only minister of the gospel that ever came into prison to speak a kind word. Every prisoner who remembered him gave glowing speeches on his behalf. Even those prisoners who called him by the wrong name remembered him as the Good Samaritan of Andersonville or the Angel of Andersonville. Kneeling down by the side of decaying bodies in the stench and filth of the gangrene wards. Many and many a time I have seen him praying. His services were sought by all, for in his kind and sympathizing looks, his meek but earnest appearance, the despairing prisoners read that all humanity had not forsaken mankind. When he was called to take up his cross and follow Christ, that's exactly what he did. He never looked back. He never questioned. And even while he followed, he was leading others. That, to me, is Father Peter Whalen.